Hello, I'm Dave from Mathagon, and in this video, I'm going to share with you our Polypad updates for April 2022. Here I am at a blank canvas at polypad.org, and the first new tile I want to share with you is our coins. So I'm going to go to Games and Applications. I'll click on Currencies. You can see we have coins in US currency, in euros, and in British pounds. I will add a penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and US dollar to the canvas. I clicked on the coins to add them onto the canvas. And one option is to make change. Polypad will make change with the fewest amount of coins possible. So a quarter becomes two dimes and a nickel, a nickel becomes five pennies, a dime becomes two nickels, a dollar becomes four quarters. I have a messy pile of coins when I click the button to organize the coins. Uh, it lines up the coin by coin type. The other option is to cash them in. And when you click cash in, Polypad will make the same amount of money with as few coins as possible. I think I started with one of each. So there we are. I click cash in and I have one of each. I'm going to go to the algebra section and add a balance scale to the canvas. And I want to show you that these coins work with the balance scale. So if I put a dollar on one side, I can balance that with four quarters. I'm using the C button on my keyboard to copy the quarters. And there we are. We can see four quarters balance a dollar. The other thing that's great is these coins work with all sorts of different uh, tile types on the balance scale. So let me add a nickel. I'll copy a couple dimes, maybe a penny. So what do I have here? 25, 30, 61 cents. If I go over to number cards and click on or enter 61 and put that on the other side of the balance scale, things are balanced. So those are our coins. We're looking forward to, see, in, to seeing all the ideas that you have with, to use these coins with students. So please share them as you start creating tasks and activities with these coins. The next new tile type I want to show is the random number tile. That's under coins, dice, and spinners. It's this new green tile that says random number. I've added that to the canvas and I click randomize a whole bunch of times and you can see each time I click, it's making a new random number. By clicking on the gear, I can change the smallest and largest number. I can go from negative 100 to 100 and it will choose an integer between negative and 100 to 100. I could change it from discrete uniform, which is an integer, to continuous, which will be, um, right now it's choosing a decimal to the 10,000th place between zero and one. We can have a number of these tiles on the canvas at once. So I could create a three by three grid of these and click randomize and get all sorts of, of random numbers. I'll go back to discrete uniform from zero to 10. And again, when I click, oops, when I click randomize, it'll choose random numbers. These also work on the balance scale. So maybe I want to get, uh, let's see if, if with my random numbers, I can balance 25. Let's see, we have 10 and 20. I don't have a way to get five. Let me randomize them again. There we go. There's a five. And now it's balanced. And when I click, um, when I create a variety of numbers on the balance scale, I could keep going to see when I get more than 25. So all sorts of great activities to be explored with the random number tile. The other new thing to share are the new features with the labels on our number line. So here is a number line on the canvas. You may know with these black tabs, we can extend the number line in a variety of directions. This start will um, change the first number on the number line and the step is saying what the number line is counting by. Under the gear, you can change the the width of the number line, as well as the number of divisions between the marks on the number line. The labels now can be above the number line or below or no labels at all, depending on what your goal with the number line is. Let me go back to below. Some of the new features are the ability to, uh, let me start at zero here, count by a decimal. Maybe I want to go up by 2.4 and start at 12.3. So that's great. We can also do fractions as a step. I could count by a half, and maybe I start at four or three going up by a half. I could start at two thirds, 
and go up by a third every time. I could do three sevenths and so on, all sorts of great options with fractions on the number line. Percents can work as well. So I could start at zero and maybe count by 10% or 30%, maybe starting at 50% and going up by 30%. So great features to explore with um, counting by percents. You could do a number of activities with a double number line, one the percent on top and something else below. And finally, let me show you that if I enter in PI, uh, the labels of the number line will count by pi. I could go five pi or seven pi or two pi, starting at a different value for pi as well. So here's starting at three pi, going up by two pi and so on. The other new label to show is on the number tiles. So let me create a group of 40. I'm gonna merge these. And you can see here is a five by eight array with the 40 tiles. And the new feature is that it shows five by eight at, at the bottom. Again, I, I can click on the gear, turn this off on show labels, whether I want those on or off. Uh, if, the, um, if the array does not make a rectangle, it'll show you in gray the amount that is left over. So here's 40 tiles in a six by six square with four left over. Here are 40 tiles in a seven by five rectangle with five left over and so on. So those are our new features for uh, April 2022. As a reminder, anytime you're working on Polypad and have questions, please click on the question mark. There are in-depth tutorials for all of the tile types. You can click on help in tutorial for a, a general Polypad tutorial uh, about all of the features, copying and locking tiles that can be found under help in tutorials. And click on, on lesson plans to go to our task page that has a growing collection of lesson plans, teaching ideas, puzzles, games, and more. Thanks very much for watching.